Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode, and there goes my toy. Oh no, that's bad. I actually don't have a way to get my toilet right now. Um, I need a toilet to get that toilet. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> wait, wait, maybe I can use my lift. Uh, but anyway, today is uh, another Survival Mode episode, and what we're gonna be doing today is there's actually an update that just... There we go. There's actually an update that just released to the test branch. It's not officially live yet, but uh, I'm on the test branch and we're going to test out this update because there's a lot of different little things and some things that could be, I don't know yet, which is why we're testing, but it could be potentially game changing when it comes to raids because apparently they've updated the AI on some of the, how the bots respond to things and how they attack things. Speaking of which, is Hank still over here? Hank, oh my goodness, look at that. This is the longest a bot has ever been in one spot. Um, that was rhymes. Uh, so one of the things that's in the update is, oh, look at that. You can't really see it that well because you're it's covered by the menu, but the chest opens. You see the chest opening? You see it opening in the background there? Hey, what if I'm in third part? No, nope, that doesn't, it doesn't help. Uh, let me go to a big chest. What does it look like to open a big chest? What about these upside down big chests? Uh, let's do a regular big chest first. Do I have a, there we go, regular big chest. There we go. So big chest opens. Um, oh, here. Nope. Getting rid of the HUD does not allow you to open chest at all, actually, which is interesting. So upside down ones. I can't see myself open. Yeah, they're opening even when they're upside down and all that stuff. So that's cool. Uh, new little thing to the update. So here, let me bring up the patch notes. We'll go through some of the patch notes together and then we'll actually apply it. But actually, before we do any of that, it's morning right now. Let's go ahead and plant some crops so we have a raid tonight and the crops are going to get some decent growth. So one of the things I seem to be missing a lot of is blueberries. Wow, I really don't have a lot of blueberries. I don't even have enough for a full harvest of blueberries here. That's kind of insane. All right, so I'm just going to plant these blueberries and then I'll get back to you with the patch notes. All right, I've used all my blueberries, so I guess I'm gonna go with oranges next because I'm pretty sure, yeah, oranges are also one of the ones that we're lacking seeds on. We have not planted a lot of blueberries and oranges in our lifetime on this world, apparently. All right, and I think that should complete it. Is everything all full? I'm not seeing any missing spots. I hope I didn't miss any spots. Doesn't really matter if I missed any spots in the grand scheme of things. All right, let's put the oranges back. Okay, so while this is going on in this world, let's uh, hop over to the patch notes. All right, here we go. We're at patch 0.4.8 test. So there's a lot of cool stuff for creative mode in this patch, which might help out with some multiplayer Monday stuff, but apparently they've now added survival parts. The interactive survival parts are now added to creative mode, except for the water cannon and the vacuum pump, which will be added later with a water update to creative mode that's coming soon, because right now the water that we have in survival does not exist in creative. You cannot have actual water in creative yet. So once that happens, multiplayer Monday is gonna be upgraded immensely. So apparently they've actually improved ragdoll physics more to reduce frame drops because that was a huge issue with our bouncy floor. It says, so creative traps that push a lot of bots into a ragdoll sh state should work much better now. That was always a big limiting factor with some of the raids, but now we don't really use the ragdoll uh, bouncy floor thing that I made as much because we have the spud guns and stuff, but we can test that. We can turn the spud guns off and we can use the bounce floor and we'll put it to the test. That's the point of this episode. All right, so we already went through the creative mode stuff. Here's a good one right here, the corn. The corn can now be broken by creation collisions. Well, to me, one of the most annoying parts of the game was trying to just drive around, getting from point A to point B, and the biggest obstacle to that was always the corn. So you know what? Let's let's go put this to the test right now. Let's go drive through a cornfield and see just how well they've done this. All right, off to the corn we go. Oh, yes, that was so easy. That was amazing! And I can't help but like, it's hard to leave the corn behind, you know? But you know, like, you're, you're gonna wanna do that at some point, because you, you just kinda wanna drive around through the field and not have the corn obstruct you. So let's actually go to a real cornfield and let's experience what it's like to drive through uninhibited by corn. There is a Haybot spine lodged into my vehicle. All right, it's gone now. All right, off to the cornfield we go. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Cornfields are some of the most open things in the game to drive through, but they were always just covered with corn. 
So you just get stopped instantly if you weren't watching where you're going or if you just happen to, you know, just lose control and hit some corn. Here we go. Here we go, right here. Just like that. Now it's like checkpoints almost. How much corn can you hit? Look at this. All right, how slow can we go? Or is it just automatic? Like, if as soon as anything collides with it, is it just... Is that because I have drills, though? Whoa, man, look at all this corn. I have to... Ow, ow, ow. Speaking of ragdolls. All right, I'm just gonna try to tap it with my wheel. Let's see here. It's nice. Tap. Look at that. Okay, yeah, there's no way. It's just completely triggered by being contacted with corn. Yeah, so this is amazing. Man, look at all the corn I'm leaving behind. I don't want to leave the corn behind. I'm going to grab all the corn on the way back. So I was curious if I run into the corn. Whoa. Oh, that was right. I didn't expect to run up the corn. All right. No, you can't run into the corn, but they did change. I saw in the patch notes. Uh, it used to be since survival mode came out that if you run or sprint into explosives, you would trigger the explosives. But now... Apparently they disabled that, which I think is really, really good because I didn't see any utility to your character running into an explosive to trigger it. If anything, it just seemed like it was, um, it was just dangerous. All right, we got five and a half minutes left when we get back to the base. Uh, let's see how much more of the patch notes we can go through before we get to our raid. All right, we are back home, but I just thought, let's find, is there a cow out here? Let's give some cow some corn and they can produce milk while we're reading the rest of the patch notes. All right, so my method is usually if they're separated a little bit, I like to lead them into each other so they have a pathway to go and meet up in a middle pile of corn just like this. All right, there we are. And we got 27 more corn left. Look at this. They are going to be the happiest, fullest, fattest cows you ever see. Imagine if a cow got bigger the more corn it ate. Wow, that'd be a little bit... That, that'd be kind of sad sometimes, I think. <laughs> All right, and I'm just going to get myself up on my lift in case any hay bots come around here. I got four minutes, three and a half minutes until the raid. Oh, we had another cow coming in? No, you're leaving. Why are you leaving? You have corn over here. Go eat the corn. Go eat the corn. You can eat so much right now. There you go. All right, let's just get back on the lift. Okay, corn can now be broken. We've tested that out. It's amazing. Farm bots react to sounds. I guess the farm bots, which is the big red guys, um, I guess they didn't react to sounds before, so now they do. I don't even know what sounds it means. Like, if you hit something with a hammer, does that count? If you shoot your spud gun, if you shoot a spud near it, is it distracted by the sounds? We might need to test that out. Glow sticks now emit more light when held in the hand. All right, here is one. This is one of the ones that I think is going to be really interesting, especially when it comes to Hank. Uh, tote bots and hay bots will try to destroy blocks and parts with all durability levels. Previously, with tier 3 metal, they can't destroy tier 3 metal because it's too durable, so they wouldn't even try. So now, apparently, they're going to try. Uh, so that means that Hank's home, Hank might just be knocking on the walls the whole time once he's in there. So we're gonna have to try, uh, see what that's all about. Hay bots will try to attack more often when they would otherwise try to chase the player. I don't know what this means. I'm assuming it means during a raid, they'll try to attack the crops more often instead of the player. Or does this also mean when you're when you're being chased that they'll actually try to uh, engage an attack rather than just follow? I don't know what that means. We're going to have to play with some hay bots. Explosions can no longer be triggered by character collisions. I mentioned that. Uh, the saw blade can now saw logs welded to the same creation. I guess that's good for uh, if you have a creation that needs it to be welded. That's just another possibility. New effects when hitting trees and burnt trees. Well, I don't have any burnt trees around, but let's go hit a tree. We have like a minute left anyway. They already ate all the corn. Look at all this milk. Yes. What do I need Hank for anyway? <laughs> now that we can drive into... So actually, it's going to be kind of a close call running back here. Um, but we should be fine. I definitely want to see the ragdoll uh, improvements. We'll see if we get any lag. Uh, but there's no trees around. I've been harvesting all around here. We'll have to get to a tree after this raid. All right, there we go. Gun sensors are up, bridges are up, and the raid has begun. So let's just see what happens. All right. I'm wondering if they're going to freeze anymore. All right, look at that. We got some ragdolling going on. Wow, look at this. All right, frames aren't terrible right now, even though they're ragdolling on each other. So far, wow, look at this. 
So far, yeah, the ragdolls near each other don't seem to be affecting the lag that much. Oh boy, that makes me nervous. See, he's attacking the tier six metal. Is he gonna get a sensor there? I'm really kind of worried about that. That is something that they would not do before. So that definitely changes a little bit of what's happening here. Yeah, and that greenie down there is attacking the ramp, which never used to happen, but I'm pretty sure they can't destroy it even though they're attacking it because their attacks cannot do the amount of damage needed for that. But I don't like, uh, this guy is making me uncomfortable attacking where the sensors are. Wow, he only took one hit. That's kind of crazy. What? He destroyed a ramp? Can they destroy the metal now? He destroyed a ramp. What durability are the ramps? No, I don't like this update anymore. I don't like this. All right, he's frozen, so that's a thing. All right, now let's see about chasing the player. Oh. Okay, I don't really know. All right, see, now they're going to attack the crops that are chasing me. Okay, this is interesting. I don't really, I'm not sure. I'm still not sure exactly what's meant by instead of chasing, they will attack more often. I think that's what it means right there is going after the crops versus me. But he still goes after me if I'm close enough. Oh no, and then he goes after the crops. Okay, I think that's it right there. I think that's what it what it meant. Alright, so now we got this guy. Okay, so this definitely... I need to be more active in my raid defenses now. Because I didn't realize they could destroy these ramps. What durability? Do I have any more ramps left? Let's, I gotta figure out what durability these ramps are. And that also makes me wonder, can they ev- Ow. Whoa, that almost killed me. I almost just got killed by my own trap. So that does make me curious. If they can destroy these ramps, can they also destroy tier three metal if they hit it enough? I don't, I don't know how it works right now. Oh, I haven't seen a blueberry in such a long time. These are really interesting. Uh, so let's go see if I have any extra ramps to replace that one with. I think I have a couple. If I have them... Oh, never mind. I have a lot. <laughs> so a ramp is six durability. Yeah, the common knowledge was anything above six dur durability... Six durability. <laughs> anything above six durability was supposed to be uh, invincible to tote bots and hay bots, but not farm bots. But now that is no longer the case. I need to deposit some of this milk I got. So that makes this that that makes this a little bit more precarious when it comes to raids now. All right, I need to bring uh, Hank. I need to bring Hank back into his house or get a uh, Hank's friend or something, a friend of Hank's back in there and see what they do. I need to see if they can destroy the metal because if they can destroy the metal, that changes things with Hank. That's definitely going to change things. All right, let's get this guy over here. Let's get this guy into into the house. So this might be actually good. If they can't destroy the tier three metal, it might be easier to bring friends over for Hank because they used to stop at the door and not try to go after me through the door. But now they might continue to go after me instead. And I think I need to, I really need to bring this up. Can I shoot that? Ow, excuse me, there we go. All right, follow me over here. Thank you. Yeah, this way, this way. Oh. That's, that makes it actually harder. Follow me. Follow me. Follow. Ow! Don't follow me anymore. You're gonna kill me. Excuse me. I'm right here. I'm right here. I am right here. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Come on in. Come on in. I'm here. Come on in. There we go. All right, you're in. Now, let's see what happens when you're just left to your own devices in there. Oh, no. Yeah, this is different now. Now, the, the question is, if he's allowed to keep doing that, does he break? Does he break stuff? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. All right, what are you hitting now? Here, let me close the door. I'm just gonna close this door real quick. Uh oh, let's pick this up. I'll just go ahead and refine this. What are you hitting? You're just hitting the wall? Don't hit the light, please. Those lights are rare now. I've harvested, I've uh, I've looted them all from all the places. All right, so I'm gonna observe, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm going to observe this Haybot for a while and we're gonna see if he ends up putting a hole into this place. How are my crops doing, by the way? It looks like they're sprouted. 
So you know what? Let me go harvest my crops while this guy is just hitting the wall. We'll come back, see if he's moved from hitting the wall. And then we'll see if he's done any damage. Okay, they seem to have adjusted something here. I remember them. I remember reading the patch notes that they've done something to improve the right click to pick up. And when I would hold right click to pick stuff up, I would keep seeing, like, when I'm pointing directly at it, yeah, you can see it's going to pick up the light. But I used to see it way more often when I was just holding uh, right click to pick up. And now, oops, the toilet does not go in the seed box. But now it seems like I'm able to pick up the berries or the crops with way less of a chance of me accidentally picking up something else. See, like I'm not, I wasn't seeing any pickup uh, loading circle at all there. So that's amazing. That's really, really good. I appreciate that. It seems much safer now to use the right click method, which I always used anyway. And my method was just to never stop moving the mouse so it didn't have a chance to accidentally pick up something that wasn't a crop. All right, so let's put some blueberries. Look at all these blueberries. Look at all these blueberries. I don't even have enough room in there to put those in there. I guess I'll put the, oh, I don't even have enough room in there. Do I have enough room over here? I'm just spreading blueberries all around and we'll put the oranges in there too. All right, perfect. Okay, so let's take a look here. It looks like he stopped. He did stop. Did he do damage though? Let's get over there and see if he's done any damage. Okay. Okay, I've got some good news. Oh yeah, this is the, this is even the tier three metal. This is the tier two metal. How much? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven durability on the tier two metal. So maybe seven is the new invincible for the hay bots and the tote bots. Everyone was saying six before, but now maybe not so much. Now maybe it's seven. All right, so. Maybe he'll just keep attacking whatever he's attacking right here. I guess he's attacking right on the shelf, to, judging by where the the particle effects are. So let's let him do that for as long as he wants to, and then we'll check back in. What if he actually digs his way out somehow while we're away? Definitely learning some new things about this update. This is going to be the new state of the game. Let's uh, go ahead and check out what else is the update going to tell us. We have a raid tonight too. I got to remember that. <laughs> Yeah, here's what we're here's what I was uh, talking about with the crops improved block remove interaction So that's definitely been improved when it comes to picking using the same button to pick up stuff as uh, Remove blocks, so that's great. Oh, yeah They've also said they added a brightness slider which could be great for me at night because I have terrible time seeing at night So let's go ahead and look at the settings. All right options display probably brightness Ooh, ooh, I, I like the I like the brighter brightness I want to see how this looks at night compared to what it was before. Here, let's uh, put this so we can see the wilderness out in the distance there. So by default, it was around here. And I'm putting it up to here. Or you could do... No, don't. No, you don't want to do that. Yeah, I like the br I like brightest. I like the brightest. That's probably going to make nighttime look a lot better too. Okay, cool. Added names to clothes? This is kind of a big deal. Let's go ahead and see what my clothes are called. Okay, so we have Engineer Hat. And we are wearing... Um... Okay, not all of them have... Not all of them have names. Lumberjack Jacket. More like Lumberjacket. We just missed an opportunity there, guys. Oh, actually... I like this better! I accidentally just stumbled upon... I, I prefer this over this. I don't like my arms. I like having the arms covered. This is better. It, and I think the red... I think the... I, I like it. I think it adds more variety to the different red uh, shades. I like that a lot. Okay, new outfit. <laughs> Glad we did this. Engineer gloves. Okay, so we're confirming that these are engineer gloves. That's an engineer helmet. Farmhand shoes. Farmhand. Farmer. Okay, so these actually technically go with this. Interesting. Not all of them have names. Golf pants. Demolition, that's what my old outfit was. I had the demolition outfit. Demolition pants, demolition gloves, demolition jacket. I don't, demolition hat. This was a complete outfit, okay. I still, I want them to still put in the rarity uh, uh, indicator. Cause like which one was a common rare versus epic. All right, so I kind of like this mix and match thing that we have going on here. Painter pants, oh, this is for a painter. Oh, I just heard something different. No, no, this is bad guys. This is bad. 
He's actually getting his way out of here. I'm out of ammo. Oh, whoa. Guys, this isn't good. This isn't good. I might want to try tier three. We're going to have to do another test with tier three metal. I can't believe they do this. How could you do such a thing? You know, I'm going to remove this chair and just use this to replace it because this chair is caught. That's why he's in the water is because of that chair. Um, all right, so this is a problem. Let's get some tier three metal. We're going to build uh, what used to be Hank's old home. Just the the single barrier of tier three metal. We're going to do that and we're going to see if he can break out of a tier three metal enclosure. All right, I need another bot, please. Oh, and actually, before I do the bot, there's a tree right over here. Let's see if we notice any new tree effects when it comes to hitting these trees. I don't know if it's sound effects or visual effects. Oh, 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 there's a bot. Hello, excuse me, hold on. I, don't, I can't tell what's new. Yeah, I'm not actually sure. Did you guys notice anything new with this? Maybe it has to do with like saw blades or something. No, no, excuse me. Excuse me, just one more. There we go. All right, follow me, Mr. Hank friend. All right, right on in here. There we go. You can go ahead and hit the metal. Yes, that's what I want. Can I please? Why can I not see? There we go. All right, so he's stuck in there. Where did this come from? Did I do that? All right, let's see if he can break out of that. If he can break out of that, that is that changes everything about um, Hank. That changes everything about keeping Hank as a pet. Hank might be going up for milk a lot more often if he can break his way out of the house, which also means they could have potentially broke through here. So I'm just gonna let him do that for a while. It's starting to get dark. We're gonna have a raid tonight, but I'm gonna go into this tower with my glow sticks to see if they're really that much brighter and what they can do. But and while it's getting dark, let's go back to the patch notes, see what else we can find. All right, they did some stuff with the warehouses. We can't really test that, but they seem relatively minor. And then the rest of it seems to be some fixes that most of all, most of them I didn't really experience. Oh no, I just heard a sound. I just heard bad sound. Oh. <gasps> No! Nothing is safe anymore! This is terrible! Just because they can hit it doesn't mean they should be able to do enough damage to destroy it. What? I don't know how I feel about this. I don't think I like this update. I, I think that we should have, if we, if we have worked hard enough, farmed hard enough to get to a certain level of materials, we should, at least ha we should at least have the peace of mind that we can defend against small tier raids without having to worry about them breaking in uh, to, cer to a certain degree. I mean, I think farm bots, the big red guys, they, they sh there should be nothing that is invincible to them because that's what makes them uh, a big red guy. That's what makes them more intimidating than everything else is they can do so much more damage. But if these guys can take out tier three metal, which I think is the highest durability building block, as far as I know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It definitely took them a while. Let's see here. This is durability eight. Is there anything that is a durability nine with building blocks? I don't think so. Yep, so that was the highest durability building block uh, that we have access to right now, in our craft bot at least. So that means how do we keep Hank now in a pool? That's, that's the answer. We're gonna make a Hank pool. This is it. Cause Hank, I think is still over here. Look at that. And he can't do any damage. He can't attack because he's swimming. So I like this. I like this idea a lot. So what I'm gonna be doing in future episodes is we're gonna keep the house just for the aesthetic of having a house. But we're gonna make this house, this back um, porch, this back deck is actually going to go down to the water and we're gonna make an actual pool for them. And then once they get into the pool, I'm thinking that they're not gonna be able to hit the edges as long as it's deep enough that they can't touch the bottom. Because otherwise he should be, he should be trying to hit this, right? Let's do a quick test. If I just put this in front of him, can he hit? I don't think he can hit as long as he's swimming. Yeah, that's a good sign. As long as he's swimming, he doesn't try to swing at things. So, 
I was worried there. I thought Hank, I thought our uh, Hank pet, uh, whole pet meme was gonna be a goner after this, but I think there's still a potential for us to keep Hank nice and secure, and actually, even more permanently, he may he may not go out for milk nearly as often if he's having a good time lounging, swimming in a pool. And oh, our glow bugs have finished eating and producing their glow poop, so let's go ahead and pick up the poop and put it in our pockets. At least I have gloves on, right? Okay, uh, 17 seconds until a raid. I am glad I just looked at that. Let's actually, we're gonna do a real, uh, more legitimate raid this time, more protective raid. We're putting our guns down. I think this is the guns. Guns are down, and let's just see what happens now. I'm gonna try to shoot anybody. Here we go. I'm gonna try to shoot anybody that, oh. This isn't really that bad. I'm gonna shoot anybody that ends up attacking the pillars. Anybody attacking the pillars? Not yet. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Actually, I need to check the ammo on those guns. Oh, man. Oh, no. Actually, I think... Ugh. There we go. That actually reduces the lag a little bit, but now I'm wasting ammo. All right. Hold on. Oh, no, not that. That button. Okay, we're doing okay. He's frozen. Let's go ahead and kill him. Oh, I forgot to get ammo. I think I have ammo right up over here, actually. There we go. Oh, we have tons of ammo. We are golden on ammo. All right, let's go ahead and kill him. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. Where, where'd you go? Oh, somebody's hitting something. No, 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 no. Don't break the ramps, please. No more ramp breaking. Okay, everything else looks like it's safe. All right, and he's picking up. Okay. Yeah, raids are a little bit more risky now. Just a little bit. We still have really, really nice defenses, which I'm happy with, but we can't just leave it alone anymore. There's a chance that they could destroy these pillars. There's a chance that they could maybe destroy these ramps and these wheels. But we shouldn't be getting a raid tomorrow, which is good. All right, let's check on our gas and our ammo. Our gas is at... Nine. I've refilled that a while ago, and we haven't even used one uh, canister yet, so that's amazing. All right, how are we doing on ammo? About half, actually. This isn't too bad. We're doing pretty good on the amount of ammo that we're using for these raids, so I'm happy with that. Okay, it is night. Let's go into the darkness of the scrap tower, the ruins here, and let's see how our glow sticks look. I don't know if you guys remember what they looked like before this patch, but let's try it out. <laughs> he just ragdolled down the stairs. That was amazing. Ooh, ooh, yes. This is much better. That is a noticeable difference. I like this. Look at that. That's so good. All right, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, so the only thing left, I think, that we haven't um, tested directly that we can uh, is the farm bot reacts to sounds. So let's go find a farm bot and hopefully not mess up and see how he reacts to sounds. All right, we're here at the burned boss biome and I'm gonna look, oh, there we go, right over here. There's one. So let's see what happens. If I, I tried this before, oh no. I tried this before and it would not attract them. Did he move because of me? All right, this doesn't seem to matter. What does it mean by noise? All right, now he's facing the other way. So wait, if I just like drive up to him or something? I don't know what noise means. Oh boy. Oh, he's coming after me now. I'm activating my wheels, please work. I haven't tried this in a while. Please work, please work, please work. Yeah! There you go. All right, now I should just take like two hits. Three hit, four hits. You should just take like five hits, maybe six hits, maybe like seven hits. Just seven hits, that's all it took. Okay, so I don't know what noise triggers them yet, <laughs> but that one was not it. Really a circuit board and a warehouse key. Not even three component kits. They should give you more than what a tote bot gives you, plus a warehouse key. 
All right, he still doesn't seem to know where I am. If I fall down here. No, I think that was just, he just saw me out of the corner of his eye there. I don't know, I don't know what noises he means. So, let's just get out of here. What, what is this? One of my old wheels. Look at this. When did this happen? I got a saw blade and everything. I mean, not saw blade, a drill. Wow, how long has this been here? <laughs> that is funny. Oh wait, let's try, I haven't tried a tree like this. Let's see if there's any noticeable new effects. Okay. I don't know, I'm not seeing it. Definitely not seeing it here. Across the cornfield we go. All right, we are back home. And that brings the patch notes to a conclusion. We've looked through pretty much everything and tested everything that I think we could. And uh, we've gained some new information. I don't like all of it. I do like some of it for sure. So let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Do you like that the Haybots and the Topots are now a threat to things like ramps? And oh my goodness, and this right here, <laughs> tier three metal. Man, we really gotta watch out for this stuff now. Uh, do you think it's good that we have to watch out for that stuff? Are you kind of annoyed like me where we, there's no safe space anymore? What are you doing next to this thing? Ow, excuse you. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and um, I'm looking forward to building Hank a nice pool, because we need to adapt to this new update. All right, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you check out some of this stuff on the end screen right here, and uh, if you want to support the channel, buy some merch. We got some awesome merch on the merch store. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.